Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Couch today, I was in the Forbidden Planet in Croydon on the off chance that they finally had in Cyborg Volume 2. They didn't. They did, however, have this most unexpectedly. Darth Maul, son of Dathomir. As it happens, I'd actually um, been talking to Andy Parrish uh, earlier today and he'd mentioned that this was coming out and they just had uh, happened to have it in when I went in there, so I'm very happy with it. This was published by Dark Horse. This is a reprint, of course, by Marvel. Um, I believe it's the only uh, um, graphic novel that was canon um, from the not from the old days, but before it was moved over to Marvel, Dark Horse had it. So this is canon. So let's just have a look at him there. Apparently, because it was out of print for so long, copies of this from Dark Horse were going for like two hundred odd pounds or something on eBay. That's madness. Let's just see what it says. Getting cut in half by Obi Wan Kenobi and being rejected by his former Sith master Darth Sidious isn't going to defeat Darth Maul. In fact, it only makes him mad enough to take on the galaxy, alongside an army of Mandalorians. After forming the Shadow Collective, a criminal organisation composed of the Huts, Black Sun, Mandalorians and Fearsome Knight Brothers, Maul wages war against Darth Sidious and his generals, Count Dooku and General Grievous. Now, adapted from unproduced episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars, this is the final chapter planned for Darth Maul's saga, other than what we saw in Rebels and the Darth Maul comic, of course, because this came out before. So let's just have a look. In fact, they have it there. I haven't done the review on this one yet. Uh, I will be doing that at some point. So let's just have a look at some of the images. He is in prison on Stygian, which I believe is the same one that uh, Ezra Kane and the, the gang go to try and rescue Master uh, Luminara Unduli, although she's already dead. Some more there. There is more. I think he's being rescued. What else do we have? Maul weeding, wielding the dark saber. There's Grievous. There's some droids. There he is with another knight brother. And you see the separatists coming in to attack. Some more. There you see Grievous. I think Dooku, yeah, this is Dooku uh, doing the Sith Lightning here. Then another familiar face, Mace Windu, talking to the Chancellor. Yes. What else do we have? <laughs> Grievous against Maul and Sidious. Uh, there is some of the Black Sun members. That won't be uh, Prince Zizor, because I don't think he is canon, although obviously Black Sun are. Uh, let's see. There's Mother Talzin. So yes, I've had a read of this and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I haven't seen all of the Clone Wars Season 5 and I haven't seen uh, the unproduced episodes of Season 6 for I think they, they're calling it. Um, but like, um, I think, the Ahsoka book and like um, the Dark Disciple book, this is based on unproduced episodes. I think this one was planned for season seven. But yes, very, very good. I'm very happy uh, to have acquired it. It was a complete surprise to see it on the shelves in the Croydon store. They did also have the Force Awakens novelisation in this format rather than the hardback version, but still at 17.99. So I don't know. I mean, I have got multiple versions of The Force Awakens in various formats. No doubt I'll acquire that one in due course as and when it gets reduced. But for now, that's just our first look at Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir, a most welcome addition to the collection. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggest for upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.